Hey, Northside parents, students, and children. We're coming to the end of October. All month long in our Parent Partner Discipleship Guides, we've been talking about the identity of Jesus, that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life, and that no one can come to God the Father. No one can really experience true life apart from Jesus. Specifically, we've been going through various passages in the Gospel of John and looking at various I am statements that Jesus makes about his identity and his purpose. And this week, we're looking at a a statement that Jesus makes in John chapter 15, where he says, I am the true vine. Listen to what he says. I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine dresser. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away, and every branch that does bear fruit, he prunes that it may bear more fruit. Already you are clean because of the word that I have spoken to you. Abide in me, and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit by itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine and you are the branches. And whoever abides in me and I in them, he it is that bears much fruit. For apart from me, you can do nothing. Jesus here in this passage is giving a picture of who he is that he is the vine, we are the branches. Just as a branch cannot live and flourish and produce fruit and have life apart from the vine, neither can we. We cannot live and produce fruit and have life itself if we are not in Christ, if, if we are not connected to Christ and actively trusting and depending on Christ. Uh, parents, students, children, my prayer for you Uh, this month and always as we talk about the good news of who Jesus is, that we wouldn't just talk about it, that we wouldn't just hear about it, but that we would allow Jesus to be who he is in our lives in real and vibrant ways. That as we hear about Jesus and, and talk about Jesus and understand that he himself as God, as Savior, as King over all things, as the true vine, that we cannot live life as he designed for us to live. We cannot live, period, if we are not in him, if we are not connected to him and actively trusting in him. And he promises that if we are in him, that if we have a real relationship with him, that if we trust him and depend on him, that we would bear fruit, that our lives would bear fruit fruit, that our lives would be filled with love and joy and peace and patience and goodness and kindness and faithfulness and self-control. But the truth is, apart from him, we cannot have any of that. And I pray as, as you're having conversations this week, that that truth would become so real to you, that only in Jesus can we have real, abundant life. Let me pray for you. Father, we come before you right now. Lord, and we give you thanks. You are God, you are King, you are Master over all, and you love us so much. You love us so much that you sent your Son to come and to die and to rise from the dead. You did that all for us that we would have life, abundant life in you, that we would know you. Lord, I pray that, uh, that, that uh, our parents, our students, our children, as they're talking this week, about you being the true vine. Uh, Lord, as they're talking about how you are the source of life, that they would hear it, that they would believe it, Lord, and it would change their lives in powerful ways. We pray these things in your name, Jesus. Amen.